Peace and love everyone, peace and love. Today I want to add Plato's concept of God, his philosophy, and why he was a Gnostic, or a type of Gnostic. Now, Plato believed in truth, that it was eternal, unchangeable, immutable, perfect. And knowledge contains to what that is, and it doesn't change, and it's perfect. So this is the ultimate goodness of God, in a sense. He believed the material world is not perfect, it's not eternal, it's always in a constant changing state and in a state of decay. And this also goes for opinions. Now, Plato believed that the truth is perfect and it could not be discovered in this material world since the material world is not perfect and neither can their experience in it discover the truth, but only form opinions. Now, they believed that the truth must be discovered through reason, meaning logical thinking and more rational way of thinking. Now, we also believe that we haven't experienced the truth and ultimate beauty and what's eternal, though the truth and what's eternal is within every human being from birth. And that this is our true nature, our rational, loving, compassionate nature. And we have a small understanding of this truth, such as what's truly beautiful and what's good. Now, Plato believed whenever we learned something, this was simply a recording. So that this recording of experience might trigger um, self-discovery but it doesn't really give us additional knowledge and he argued to reject education of those who said they can give us knowledge of something that's not there so meaning that learning is for, is impacted through past lives so reincarnation and this truth and not true knowledge is within all of us and so this is for our experience so whenever you learn something that's truly sparks you this is knowledge that's already been achieved by you in a past life now plato believed that the universe was created rationally mathematically um intelligently in a sense now he viewed god as the complete goodness in a sense and unaffected by the material world yet having an impact on the world through motion and movement meaning energy all of us so he also believed in levels of goodness, so the ultimate divine being good, but also having lesser forms of the divine, so lesser gods that were seen as angels or messengers. So he's seen the demiurge as a lesser god, and that this lesser god borrowed material sources from the true divine and mixed it with pre-existing materials of chaos, diluting it down in a sense, accidentally creating something imperfect. So with this way of thinking, with him thinking about life as an eternal mind and God as the ultimate goodness, he was a type of Gnostic. And Gnosticism, and especially Gnostic way of thinking, goes right way back earlier, even through the mystery schools. Gnosticism, well, really I should say the word Gnostic is a really misused word. It just means someone in the know. Now, it's ultimately been changed because of the church fathers and they just label people as gnostics in a sense to easily send persecutions after them pretty much so they label them as different groups peace and love everyone i love you all connect to one minus soul namaste